Hello everyone, this is Matt with Cablesupply.com. And this is Jim with Cablesupply.com. Today we're going to be going over the Land Toner 2 AT8L by Greenlee and Tempo. It's a toner and a breakout box combined. Um, if you're not sure what a breakout box is, uh, basically what the, it's a device that allows you to plug in an end like this. It's an RJ45 mod plug. An RJ45 mod plug. Plugs right into the wall. And you can have access to the individual wires electrically by uh, attaching your alligator clips to any one of these contact points right here. Now Matt, you talked about it being a tone. What is a toner? Toner is a device, and you can check our other uh, videos on the uh, tone and probe and how they use them, but it's a device to find wires and cables uh, from dis a great distance or to identify one cable. Basically, we turn on the toner, and you'll notice we get a nice tone out of that. When you connect it up to the cable, you can detect that tone out of 20, 30, 40 other wires or cables, and uh, it'll be a couple hundred feet away. You'll still get a nice strong tone. So you not only need the toner that generates the tone, but you also need a probe uh, to pick up the oscillations, oscillation sound from the, the toner. Yeah, a probe. Um, this is the uh, Greenlee Tempo 200 FP. We also sell the Greenlee Tempo 200 EP. Um, but they're both probes, and uh, what they'll do is they'll uh, pick up the electronic radiant, or electro electrical radiance of that tone. You know what's nice about the uh, 200 FP? Uh, you have that filter that, that actually filters out 60 hertz uh, sound, which is what you get from electricity, uh, your fluorescent lights, things like that. Yeah, it'll take out the buzzing you run into a lot, and when you're around electrical panels, it's a little tough, which is typically mm -hmm. where your uh, telephone communications are. Uh, for better or for worse, they're in the same closet as the electrical. So this has two separate tempos for the tones. Uh, that's helpful when you're toning with a, um, a buddy, another technician, you don't want to get your tones confused. Uh, right now this is blinking at a uh, fairly slow rate. We'll switch it to the next tone. And this is a much different tone. It's difficult to mix the two up. Um, this button right here is how you cycle through your functions. So we're moving on to continuity. Uh, continuity is a way to test if two wires are electrically connected in a circuit. And you'll notice when we connect these alligator clips, the light's going to turn green. That would be the same thing as if you were connected up to a wire. It's a good way to test out uh, circuits and make sure they're, uh, they haven't been cut anywhere or damaged. Now what happens if you're attached to, let's say, a dial tone? Does that light up also? To check on dial tone. Yeah, it should light up also when you uh, when you're connected. And what it'll also do is indicate whether your polarity is correct. With most modern loopback uh, circuits, that's not an issue. But when you get into the older DID circuits and ground start circuits, that can be an issue. So you want to make sure your polarity is correct uh, with those older circuits that aren't as used as often, but you still run into them occasionally. So it's a polarity slash continuity test. And if they're not, if the polarity is reversed, this will show up red instead of green. Let me demonstrate how you find out which of these jacks are actually attached to your switch in the back. Even though it says hub, it's also a, uh, it also works with switches. So to, to check a jack, is that dead or alive? That switch is not attached to that jack. So that cable that goes back to the patch panel is not cross-connected to a switch. However, here, let me take off this voice one. This data jack right here is attached to the switch, and you'll see the, the flashing. You see that slow flash? It's actually appearing yellow. That's actually showing where the, uh, the identifier is plugged into in the other room. So that could save a lot. You can't tone this out normally because it's attached to a switch. So how do you identify it? Well, you use that little device in there. And then it shows up flashing very, very slow. So I know this port here is attached to that jack in the other room. One of the intricacies with this that I didn't pick up on right away is you got the multifunction PC blink slash hub detect. Uh, right now this is set up for hub detect. Uh, it's got the black lead on number six and the red lead on number three. It's, this is blinking at a fast place and it's indicating that there is a um, switch or hub found on the other end. So we'll just disconnect this just to show you it's working. That light's going to stop blinking. Um, one of the other features this can do is blink a PC activity light. 
in order to do that, you have to cycle through until this is blinking at a slow pace. And you're going to swap these. The red is going to be on number six, and the black is going to be on number three. And, and you use this when you're back in the phone closet or the IT closet, and you want to see if that, um, that uh, patch panel outlet is attached to a PC somewhere. Yes. So we're doing opposite. Today we're, we're looking at from a office to the switch uh, for the hub detect or the switch detect. Uh, but if you have a problem with the PC, uh, or, or you want to see if a PC is plugged in in the office and you're in the IT room, then you would use uh, the red and black on that particular side and that particular way. Um, it does come with directions too, so you, you can get, once you get used to it, it's not that hard to figure it out, but it is something that threw me for a loop when I first purchased mine. And like other toners, this one has alligator clips built into it. Um, these alligator clips you can use to connect directly to wires if you want to wrap the wire, bare wire around that to tone it out if you don't have a jack on the other end. Um, and if you want to connect it directly to a 66 block or some terminal screws, you can do that too. Just set it over to tone. You take these clips, just clip it right onto your 66 block. This is obviously for demonstration purposes because on a 66 block you're using, you'll have wires coming out all over the place. Right there you can leave that in your closet, tuck it up on somewhere and then go out and tone it and make sure you're connected to the right thing. Yeah, it gives you a lot of flexibility, especially that breakout box really helps a lot. And you can get this on our website along with other tools that are unique to our industry at uh, uh, www.cablesupply.com.